Hello, my name is Stefano, and I'm a product manager in the automated reasoning team at AWS. This is an introduction tutorial to automated reasoning checks in Amazon Bedrock Guardrails. Automated reasoning checks validates natural language content against the rules encoded in an automated reasoning policy. To get started with automated reasoning checks, navigate to the automated reasoning section of the Bedrock console. Here, where you can list and create new automated reasoning policies. Automated reasoning policies are a mathematical encoding of knowledge. To create a new policy, simply click Create Policy, give it a name. In this example, I'm importing a return policy for a store. I'm going to call it Big Store Returns. You can give the policy a description that will make it easy to identify it. And then you can upload a document that defines the rules that you want to encode. Here, I have a simple PDF that lists all of the rules for my returns. I simply upload a file, and then I give the tool some instructions. Instructions allow you to specify what you will be doing with this automated reasoning policy, and they guide the tool into what needs to be captured from the input document. In this example, I'm saying that I'm building a chatbot that answers customers' questions about item returns. It's a customer support chatbot. I give some example of the questions and a practical one below. Clicking Create Policy will start the process. This process can take a few minutes. An automated reasoning policy includes a schema of variables that represent concepts that are important to this knowledge domain. For example, in this case, would be, would be how many days since the item was purchased, its conditions, etc. And a set of formal logic rules that define all the possible true statements in the knowledge domain. Once the policy creation process is complete, we get to this screen, the overview. The overview shows you high-level information about your policy, its name, if you have pending changes to be applied to the policy, a summary of all the tests that exercise this policy. In this case, because the policy is new, we have not yet created any tests, and a summary of the rules and variables present in the policy. In the Policy Details tab, you can see its ARN and whether we have saved version. And you, as you can see, here we are operating on the working draft. At any time, we can take a snapshot of this working draft and save it as an immutable version copy. The main navigation for this interface is this menu. The features of this UI help you validate that the policy is correct and refine it if it needs changes. From this overview screen, we can see the definitions. This is where we can see all of the rules that were encoded in the policy, the variables that were created to capture important values and concepts in this knowledge domain, and custom types. Custom types capture values that are specific to this knowledge domain. For example, the product category, where you could have a standard item, a digital book, and lots of other values that were specified in the input document. This screen allows you to inspect the rules in the policy. The test UI allows you to create tests that exercise the semantics of the policy. Tests behave just like production validations for your chatbot. You can enter a question and answer and see what the validation output would be. You can also ask the system to generate tests. In the next video, we will see how we can use test to debug a policy and make sure that it is correct. And finally, we have annotations. If you think of this policy just like a document, you can think of annotations as corrections you want to make to these documents, notes you leave on the side. As you test the policy and change it and ask for changes to rules, these changes requests become annotations that can be listed here. We will go through this flow in the next video where we show how to refine a policy.